Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're doing a vlog. Wah, 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 wah. Now, if you are not part of my Patreon, you've maybe seen one of these on my channel, but today we've decided we're gonna do another one. <laughs> you guys did ask for another one and we don't usually typically go anywhere until the summertime, so I couldn't do another one until the summertime. So I am currently at the dog park with the dogs. As you can see them back there. They're the doggies. Um, I'm out walking them right now. And then I'm going to take them home. And then we're going to get heading out. Now for those who don't know. That is where the new house is. Where you see that white SUV. That's where our new house is. It is currently being cleaned up. Because tomorrow we get handed the keys. I am nervous. I am anxious. I am kind of like losing my mind. Um, as you also saw, I took a mental health break this week um, because I got a message that really, really got un under my skin because with everything else I have going on, I, of course, am supposed to know all of Diamond Art Club's business and why they do the things that they do. And I don't know how many times I have to say it or who needs to hear it. But one more time for the people in the back. I do not work for Diamond Art Club. Now, with that said... If you have a problem with Diamond Art Club, well, I don't know what to tell you. Lots of people have problems with Diamond Art Club, but I don't work for Diamond Art Club. So coming to me with your problem is not going to help you at all because I don't work for them. I unbox kits for them. That's about it. So there's a Killian. Killian! Killian! He don't care. He sees people. So I told you guys I would show you the rainbow hair, so I'll take it out here. Rainbow hair! So the hair is rainbow. But yes, we are deciding to do a vlog today because we are going to the Badlands. Now, this is where we go to go see the buffalo and the bison and the longhorn and all that fun stuff. Is excited. She is not going with us because you are not allowed to bring pets. Why? Because they will chase after the buffalo, okay? Um, so we are not taking the dogs with us and they are going to be going or staying in the house. So, oh, we have, we have a Jeep, a Jeep. We got a Jeep. So, yeah, so I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna be getting going here as soon as I get back from the dog park with the dogs. Mr. Coffee is cleaning out his truck and we're gonna be heading over to the Badlands. So, let's go on an adventure, guys. All right, so we're on our way and we got Orion and Maggie and that's little Jack. We kidnapped him. <laughs> so we are on the way to the Badlands now. Me and Maggie have on our matching shirts from Deb. Yeah, yeah. Rainbow hair, don't care. So yeah, we're gonna go show uh, Jack where we're gonna be living, even though there's somebody there, but yay, they're cleaning out the house. So we'll see you guys in the next So we're at the gas station getting snacks. Um, yeah, look at this. For those folks that are like, what does North Dakota look like? We're actually, we actually sit in a bowl. It's called the Basin Bowl. <laughs> But we're at the gas station getting snacks now, getting ready to head out on the road. We gotta make sure everybody's emptied out and got snacks. <laughs> and now we're off. Gas is 279, y'all. That's crack prices. All right, let's go.
guys, we are here at the Badlands. And as you can see right here, this is where the fire was a couple of weeks ago. If you were in my Patreon, you would have noticed the smoke. Um, it looked like it was a cloudy day. It wasn't cloudy, it's because the Badlands was on fire. So some of the, pro the park was damaged by fire. So that's another reason why we wanted to come out to see what the damage was. But that looked like a small portion versus what was actually on fire. Cause there's more fire going up that way. Like there's more burning up that way. But we'll get further into the park so that we can see the buffaloes and everything else. But this is where we come to see the Badlands. This is the entry into the Badlands. They're doing some construction and still cleaning it up down there. So yeah, they actually built this road here. It takes you to the south end of the Badlands because this, I don't know how far it goes. I'm gonna say it goes all the way down to South Dakota. So we are going to go ahead and enter the park and find somewhere to go start hiking. So let's go. Okay, so this is one of the trails. This is Prairie Dog Town, um, meaning you're probably gonna see some prairie dogs. And then they have these cool things called cannonballs, which is what you see here. And you can climb, as you can see the kids up there climbing with Mr. Coffee. You can climb up the mountain if you want to. You can go up this side or the other side. There's a little treasure cove up there. Hey Jordan, you wanna take them to the cave? Over there. Oh. You gotta come down, Orion. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take the kids to the cave. She wants to wear a mask. She's afraid of fresh air. <laughs> fresh air is scary. So we're going to take the kids to go climb into the cave. I'm not climbing into the cave, but they can climb into the cave. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Just thinking about trying to climb up there. Go ahead, Maggie. No, I'm not climbing by myself. You would be climbing with the boys, Maggie. So that's the little cave. All right, let's go into the cave. Can I climb and record at the same time? Apparently your daughter just stops. Go, Maggie. All right, we're gonna try to climb up here. Oh my God. Nothing else, you'll get a great view of Mr. Coffee's butt. Thanks, Mr. Coffee. Put those Crocs in four wheel drive. 
Yeah, we're not too far up. You in here? You want to hurry? You need a hand. Nope, I'm good. Sure? Yep. Oh, you want to go up there and just look into the cave? Sure. Down there. Alright, so without trying to drop my phone, yeah. or knock kids down in there, the cave! How deep to go? It's not that deep. Oh, okay. Alright, we're gonna go back down now. Alright, we made it down the cave. I'm dead now. Okay. So, now we're just gonna do some walking. Sorry. He found me a stick. Oh yeah. Hey, some swirly rock. That is shale. Okay. Yeah, it's a spider right there. Let's leave him alone. the buffalo they're pretty big there's the road but if you come on this side over here first you got to watch out make sure there's no traffic coming look at that this does not clear your mental health, I don't know what will. This is always a great way for me to clear my mind when I have so much going on. It is. We got a couple of trails here. The trail that we were just looking at is this one, Achenbach Trail. Then we have Cape Rock. And then we have River Bend Overlook, which is where we're going. And it has like this little overlook that's pretty cool. We're gonna go there. So, and of course it warns you about the bison. Like, don't feed them and stuff fun like that. So. I, mean, I can put one in the back of my truck. You're not putting a bison in the back of your truck. Why? This is why we can't take Mr. Coffee anywhere. We can't have nice things. Friendly bison. Oh yeah, they're friendly. Here we go. The view. See, that wasn't far now, was it? Now this is the type of trail Miss Coffee can do. Careful, Jack. They're not 
I wish I had that damn dog here. Oh yeah, there's geckos down at that area. I found one. Alright, so River Bend Outlook, feel free to pause, read, inform yourselves. And then this. Try to go down this thing without hurting ourselves. Little stairs. My legs are already shaky and I've done nothing. I don't know if it's just because of the way they have it stepped out or what, but it makes my legs all wobbly. So if you go down further, you get to this cute little cabin thing here. There's some more scenery. There's a lot of devastation due to the fire, which apparently was more so at the south end than it was the north end, but you can still see the remnants of the fire here. Like, hold on. If we go over here, all that gray that you see down there, all the gray you see is fire scorching. Jack, you have on Crocs, come back please. This child is trying to give me a heart attack. So, yeah, all that gray you see is scorching from the fire. Remember folks, only you can prevent wildfires. I hear a fly or a bee or something is annoying the crap out of me already. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get a picture of the kids in here. I usually get pictures of the kids here every summer. This is usually the first trip we make. We're gonna visit some other places as well, but this is always the first place we go because it helps mommy's mental health and makes her a happier person. What'd y'all find? All right, leave it. Apparently they found a gecko. Every time you get close, she tries to run away. She's gone now. Oh, scare it back over here. chill, mommy? No, just leave it there, it's fine. Mom, she went That was a quick gecko. So I just stand there. I don't know. No, Maggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going down there this time. Let's go inside so I can get a picture of you guys. Okay. okay. So I can update my picture from last year. Really, Orion? What if you use your way? Easily. All right. So this is the cute little cabin. Now we got the clay. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Unfortunately, there's no trails here, so you can't walk too far down. I mean, you can, but you got a long way down. So yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Zoom you in. All the cool clay. And we're ready for our next stop, I guess. So let's go. Living in the shadow. So we got some roots 
And it says, hey, you're here. <laughs> oh, short grass prairie, mixed grass prairie, and tall grass prairie. I wonder if that means uh, the Badlands goes all the way over to these spots or is just the grass. And then we have all the wildlife you will see in this area. Bunnies and pocket gophers, snakes. We're gonna avoid the snakes. You see lots of groundhogs or prairie dogs. There's a bird over there, I hope. I hope that's a bird. If it's a mouse, I'm gonna freak out. All right, and then the other side, across the way over here, this is a little rest stop area. They have these along the way, if you've never been here before. And you just kind of park your vehicle like Mr. Coffee's done. And this is a road, so look both ways. And then we have another viewing point. And we're going to keep going because we haven't even hit, we're, we're, I think we're in the middle of the Badlands and we've been driving for probably about an hour already. So we're only in the middle. So we're going to keep going further up. We're going all the way up there. So, all right. I'll see you in the next clip. Yeah, we can go this way. All right. We're walking again. I'm dying again. But we're walking again. So we can get a better view. Oh, for those wondering, I think it's like 78 degrees out here. So it's not hot, hot. But these thunder thighs, I'm telling you what. Oh my God, they're burning. The girls are burning. And if one more pearl clutcher looks at my hair and clutches their pearls, I'm gonna snap. Oh my God, her hair is rainbow. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Look, Maggie, a butterfly. I see. Maggie's been pointing out all the flowers to us. Those. Okay. What, Orion? Something. Okay. I said something. What about me? <laughs> oh, if you were stick your virtual, stick your virtual hand up. I stick your virtual, stick your virtual hand up by subscribing. You'll get free cookies. What cookies are you offering these people? Oh. There is. There's a trail marker down there. Oh, trail. okay, I see it. So there is a trail that goes down and back through there. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Oh. It's not, it's the one that comes down from over there. Yeah. Alright, come on, guys. Okay. I wanna go read those little things over there, so. Run, tiny human, run. Yes, run out all that energy so you're tired later. And maybe you'll take a nap. Awesome. Butterfly. Butterfly. Flutterfly. Is Jack behind you? Yeah. Okay. So I think it's like the first or second week in June and like migration of the monarch butterfly. I don't know if it happens up here or if it's down to like kill the area, but that'd be fun to see. We're going over there. Okay. 
No, not the subway. This way. See, I don't know exactly where we're at to get taco. Ryan, what are you messing with? Everything. I'm messing with air though. Oh, Ryan. Stop. What'd that air ever do to you? Um, maybe it's like this. Hey, Ryan. Okay, let's see what these signs say. Back away from that edge, Ryan. The Missouri, the little Missouri right. River. Um, excuse me, Tuts, your head's in the way. Uh, so, the little Missouri. Okay, can I get a shot of this without your little tiny arm in it? Thank you. All right, pause, okay. read. Do what you want to do with that one so Megan can keep playing with it. Get out of here, Ryan. There's cotton over here, no. growing old. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually the top now of, or the end of the trail. Oh look, there's a little thing down there. Stop. That's what I'm talking about. Maggie, stop. All right, come back this way. Oh. So this is the end. So now you guys will go see some scenic pictures of the other side of the the park because there is a scenic side on the other side as well, which is the side that I wasn't on. It's on the driver's side of the car. So you'll see some more scenic pictures before we end it because I know it's going to be over an hour. I hope. <laughs> oh, there's people down there. Free cookies. You stop with the free cookies. Ryan's gonna make y'all cookies. There's people right there. Hi. Yeah. Look at the truck goes all the way down there. Yeah, it just cuts around this way. Then it goes all the way down there. Then. When the kids get a little bit bigger, we'll actually do like the real trails, but they're too small right now. I don't trust myself or them. All right, so we're gonna go do some more walking and exploring, and you guys are gonna enjoy some scenery. There was one more sign I wanted to catch, which is this one. These are the two trails that lead down that big path down there. And then there's a sign up sheet down that way. You have to sign in before you take the trails just so they know who's here and who's not, so. All right.
right, so we are back at the beginning where we were. Um, we got one zonked out. The other two wanted to go climb some more, so they're going to go climb, and I'm going to sit here with Magpie. Um, so that was about five hours. <laughs> it wasn't a lot for you guys just because uh, we were hiking a lot of the trails, and the kids were being a little ornery, and I needed to keep my eye on them, especially since we have an extra kid that isn't ours. I like to keep a special eye out. Plus, he has on Crocs, and I kept, like, panicking because I thought he was going to fall so I wanted to just keep an extra eye on him but I hope you guys enjoyed this um we'll probably be going to the south end here in a couple of weeks but of course as you guys know tomorrow or the day that you see this we get the keys to the new apartment so uh somebody woke up it's always nice when she wakes up with a smile on her face Maggie do you choose violence yay so yeah, so this always helps me clear my head whenever I'm, uh, hold on a second. All right, apparently she wants to go climb with the boys now. But um, this always clears my head whenever I'm having like some mental health issues, getting out and just getting away from everything. Where I still have my phone and I'm recording, I'm away from pretty much everything. Like I don't have to worry about anything out here i can just walk around and enjoy nature and the family and the maggie and so we got on our matching shirts so betty boo. betty boo so yeah so um you might see me vaping no i don't want your opinion on it i have my own but thank you for having an opinion on it anyways hello tootsie your lungs are wet. Ooh, climbing up? Ryan's climbing up somewhere over and, there. And but uh, I think they're going back into the cave. But it's just nice to be able to get out with the family and do things, especially since the next oh, week for us is going to be super busy. Um, we're we're going to have for dinner is Taco. I don't think Taco Bell's out this way, Tootsie. We'll have to ask Daddy. But yeah, we're going to go find food. We're going to feed. Uh, everybody and then we have to get Jack back and as you if, you if you didn't notice I did open the shop with a couple of things um, I'm gonna be you see a cowboy oh you see the guy with the cowboy hat on um, I'll be opening the shop periodically with a couple of things not all at once like I did last time uh, just there will be new designs there will be designs for pride obviously um, I still haven't put my nails on because I'm scared I'm going to go to start packing and moving stuff and I'm going to lose one and it's going to break off. So, so uh, I won't put them on until after, but I did have the, like the rainbow nails that everybody apparently thought were teeth. And of course, I got the rainbow hair. Yay. So yeah, um, this will be the whip and chat for this week. I also hate to say it, but I don't think I'm going to be live on Friday just because of Friday night we have to move and we have to have the internet switched over to the new house Saturday because that's when we're moving all the big stuff out of the old apartment into the new apartment. Um, they are over there cleaning now. Maggie, you're pulling on my hair. Um... So we want to make sure we have all the internet stuff. Like I was going to try to have it done Saturday, but I don't think they'll do it Saturday. So I have to do it on Friday. So we're going to have everything switched over so that I can go live the week after next. Um, but yeah, so life's about to get really busy. I have videos recorded for you guys, so no need to worry about missing out on videos. We will have videos going up on the channel. Uh, I might not be able to get them up for my Patreons just because of how things work and I don't want to forget to put up a video. So uh, I'll see what I can do. But right now is just going to be hectic because I'm kind of freaking out about the move now and all the stuff that we have still yet to do, um, which is a lot because most of the packing that's been done has been my craft supplies. That's it. Uh, I still need to go through all of Maggie's toys, all of Orion's stuff in his closet. We need to make the piles for Goodwill and what's going and what's going in the trash. And essentially bust out the house, which I will be doing this week. 
which sucks because Mr. Coffee goes back to work tomorrow and we get the keys tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, I will be going up with Mr. Coffee to get the keys. Um, I'll give you an inside into the house. Like we'll take some pictures for you guys. Um, just so you can see the inside of the house and everything and where the craft area is gonna be. I'll give you like a before and after, but I have to get like, I, I it, it's just gonna be really busy because of getting everything into the new house. So yeah, so we might get some more scenery pictures, I'm not sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am tired, okay? My brain is clear, I am tired. I could go to sleep right now. Of course, I'm gonna yawn now. Oh, excuse me. Huh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like we're at the end of the park, so there's not really a whole lot of scenery left to see. But, uh, if there is, I'll make sure to put some here at the end. to get food this is a place we always stop because we always point out teddies and then orion talked about therese and teddy we're at hardy's kids are having a picnic hi children stop words words something so all the things so Oh, gas prices here are the same as they are in Williston. Back of the truck picnic.
We're taking the dogs out. And they really gotta go, apparently. Hi, Killian, chill. Oh my gosh. So that was an adventure. We got Orion's little friend home okay. And Mr. Coffee and Orion are putting stuff back in his truck, his work stuff. And I decided to come walk the doggies. Ugh. So it's been a long day. You would have saw the train. You don't see many trains out here in North Dakota. Hang on, guys. Got it open? All right, there they go. Oh my gosh. It's been a long day. We got Jack dropped off. We got the doggies going potty and getting some exercise. We beat the storm. There's a storm coming. And yeah. So we are ready to settle down for the evening after they go potty. Can you get it, Toots? Help Maggie with the gate. Maggie. That. Your 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 scooter. Oh. I it was it. Okay. I yes, good job. She did it. Maggie's just like me. So the day is over. It's been a long, exhausting day. We had Hardee's. Hardee's. I'm going to sleep back because I was sleeping. So tomorrow will start the longest week of my life. Uh, but it's a doggy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably add another part to it in the house, sitting down, relaxing before the madness. So, yeah, because I got to show you guys the inside of the new place. So, yay. But, all right, guys, we'll see you in the clip tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to our home. Oh, all right, let me get my key card. So we don't use keys here. Still learning how to use this. All right, welcome to our home. So, this is our living room. Gotta lock the door, or close the door. And, bathroom, laundry area, kitchen. And this is my new craft space. Oh yeah. Um, the guy is coming to put the caps back on because when they painted, uh, he took the caps off. Um, but yeah, this is my new craft area. I'm going to have to rearrange how I want it to do things because apparently the TV is supposed to go here. But I want my craft table near a window because the nook that I bought is going to go like in the center and then I want it tables. So like, well, I guess I can. I can put my drafting table here with my two shelves for my adult coloring books. And then I can have tables going this way, one with the TV on it over here, and then tables going this way as well. Um, and it has like this little wall here. So there's that. And I'm not planning on having a phone or anything. So this is my craft space. And I was actually getting ready to unload the first load of stuff into here. So let me take you around a little bit. So this is the kitchen. And I got one of those refrigerators that makes ice. That'll come in super handy. This is of course the living room area. 
And then we go upstairs. Oh my gosh, my leggies. <laughs> I have been nonstop all morning, y'all. Okay, so this would be Orion's room, his own bathroom. They're coming in to fix that as well today. And then like his closet, nice big old closet, his bathroom. And then to come down this way, this is the spare bedroom. It's closet. All the bathrooms have new counters, sinks, and toilets. So everything's brand spanking new. And of course we have like the nice showers. The kids' bedrooms and the spare bedrooms all have showers. My bedroom has a tub. So this area here will be Orion's room, I believe. Hold up, where am I? <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is Orion's room. So the other room I was in was Maggie's room. So this one is Orion's room. So it's the same as Maggie's, just swapped. Which I gotta figure out where his, oh. I don't know how to close these closets. There we go. His cable is there, which means his bed's gonna probably be over there. So yeah, so guest room, Orion's room. We put Orion further away from us because we want Maggie's room to be closer to us because it's Maggie. And this is our room. So this is our bathroom. So we have the tub, new toilet, new sink, lots of countertop space, lots of drawers for linen, which Becky was saying about doing something with linens today. And I was like, I have plenty of linen closets. I gotta check the kids' rooms. And then this is my bedroom. Nice big bedroom. This is a little nook for the TV, which we don't watch TV, so a dresser will probably go there. Our view is the dog park and this house. <laughs> we each get our own closet, which is great. Mine's will be filled with diamond paintings probably. Actually, no, the diamond paintings are gonna go in the spare room because nobody's gonna be in there. Mr. Coffee's closet. Let me stop wasting electricity. Oh, okay, it does have a fan in it. All right, so I wanted to check the kids' rooms quick. Oh, okay, so they don't have a linen closet, but they have underneath shelves, so I can just put their stuff underneath. Each room, because this used to be staff housing, so each room has these little locks on them, but they have been deactivated as of this morning because I don't want, whenever you close the doors, it automatically locks the door. I don't want the kids to have access to that. So, yeah, okay, drawers. Which I don't know why Orion's room seems so much smaller than Maggie's. Hmm. If his room, I want Maggie, I want Maggie to have the smaller room because she's less likely to tear up stuff if she has a smaller room. So, let's close this closet door. Apparently you gotta close it a certain way. Uh, uh, uh. Ta-da! We closed it. All right. So, now back down stairs. Oh my God, my legs. <laughs> and I have to bring, I have to bring boxes and stuff up here still. So that's the front door, front area here. This whole big old space is for the living room. This essentially is the gamer section. This will be where Mr. Coffee and the couches are because uh, the kids' desk and stuff while they're going upstairs their actual chairs will be down here. And I should get started working because, yeah. So you're seeing this the day I'm putting this video up. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the tiny little tour of our new home. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. One, I hate the stove. But this here, this here, oh my God, look at that. Oh my god, it does stuff. Ice cubes. Six cents? Now look, listen, I saw that movie and it wasn't a good one. Um, what is... I will have to figure out how to use this because... What does three mean? Replace filter. What? Q. 
cubes are crushed. Oh, oh, okay. Lights dim. Temperature timer, three seconds. Calibrate measured fill. Hold for three seconds to lock. Oh. Dispense. So when like when you want water. And then it shows you how much. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. Now I can tell I ain't used to rich people stuff. Look at that. Little ice thing. Yes. That's, oh no. Y'all see what I see? That's not gonna work. <laughs> we gonna have to. I'm gonna have, have a conversation. Oh, I guess there's not really a whole lot they can do about that. Uh, looks like the little thing came off of it, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, and we got a dishwasher, of course. Which, hold on a second. Oh, good, they did clean it. I got double sinks. And one of these. These are my favorite thing in the whole white world. Double sinks. I kind of missed, I'm gonna miss the view of a kitchen because like there's a big old tree out here, but that's okay. But as you can see, Plenty of space for cups and dishes and all kinds of things. Oh my God, there's an outlet in there. <laughs> like what the hell, is there an outlet in there? Um, we're gonna need a step stool. I'm 6'1", and look, listen. <laughs> we gonna need step stools. So we're gonna go get a step stool. Another cabinet here. I don't think I have this much stuff to put in cabinets. I told Mr. Coffee I want to turn one of these drawers into a spice drawer. Because who needs this many drawers? Like, good God. There's so many drawers. And then we still have down here counter space. Good God. How much stuff do they, do they these guys have? Yeah, we're going to probably make this like a spice thing. Got a new microwave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all, my mic... There's an outlet. Why is there an outlet in there? <laughs> my my current. Who the hell's reaching up there? <laughs> my my current microwave, they still have yet to fix. I did call them finally about it and they still haven't fixed it. Y'all know all those little coffee plaques and stuff y'all like to send me and all the, the cups? That's where they're going. <laughs> so I can see them from my craft area. Because my craft area, like a fat girl, true fat girl form, sits right off the kitchen. And then this was, of course, the dining area. So we're going to put the dining room table here. We have our move-in packet, which I have to go through. I'll look through it later with Mr. Coffee. We have some more cabinets. This is like the pantry. I love this fridge, oh my God. Oh, and then we have one of these cool things. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, laundry area, which I gotta come over here to turn the light on. So we have our washer and dryer. I don't like that type of thing, but I'll get used to it again. I used to have one breaker box stuff. <laughs> Um, stuff for your laundry, and, uh, again, hold up, does this work on here? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is our garage. This garage will hold both me and Mr. Coffee's car. Uh, it's echoing. It has these little prims on the side for all of Mr. Coffee's, like, gear. There's the heater. And then there's the temperature gauge thing there on the wall, how to open it. This is just the water heater and stuff. So yeah, so this is our new home. I, I need to literally, I, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta start unloading this stuff because the kids are home waiting for me to get back. Little dishwasher there. It's a little stiff because it's new. I can tell it's new, one, because it had the plastic still on the Whirlpool part, and then <laughs> they didn't even take the thing off of it. So, yeah, holy freaking counter space. Like, good God. All right, so yeah, my convection oven right here because it's right next to the craft room. Boom, make y'all guys some cups. Take it over there. I, I'm probably going to end up having to rearrange my idea because if that T, I wanted the T be up in the corner up here, but the cable is over here and I don't know if I'm gonna like having the cord sprung all the way over there but I'll do what I gotta do I guess but all right guys thank you guys so much for everything I love you guys I hope you all have a great rest of the day and now I'm gonna shoot you back over to yesterday's Leisha and she's gonna end the video so bye right, thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns you know how we do put them down in the comment section if you're new hi welcome I'm Miss Coffee
that's that's a magpie. That that's little Maggie. Say hi, Maggie. Hi, every new people. Hi, every new people. Um, yeah, and Mr. Coffee and the other kids are over that way, so you can say hi to them later. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And with that said, be safe out here in these crafty streets. The only reason why you don't see me wearing a mask is because we're not near people. We're outside in nature and we're not like there's not a whole lot of people out here at this time. So thank goodness for that. So remember, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer if you got it. Don't touch your face out in public. Keep six feet and always try to be kind. Thank you, Maggie. Be, be courteous. <laughs> be cool. Bye, guys.